Having read half of this thanking the monkey over the last couple of days and knowing Karen now, I'm, uh, I'm fascinated with it being, it's, it's the only group of people that I have not seen pointing fingers at the normal populace, you know, people like me who, who uh, have eaten a certain way my whole life uh, and don't feel particularly bad about it. But now I'm thinking. I'm thinking in a different way. Um, when I had my lunch today, I was thinking in a different way. Uh, not because anyone bullied me into it, which, which I think oftentimes is the case with any, with any movement, there's a tendency for people to, uh, to want to bully people into their point of view, and that's not so with this, with this case. My daughter is 24 years old. She's been a vegetarian since she was 16, and uh, she's been vegan for, for much of that. Uh, I've given more thought to my daughter's perspective in the last two days than I have in my entire life because of this book. Yeah, the book talks about uh, dignity. Dignity is important. Uh, quality of life is important. Uh, compassion is important. Um, and I think that's a, I think that's a good fight, a good fight to fight. There, it, you'd be hard pressed, I think, to find people who would say that you know, don't be silly. Uh, animals need to be kept in pens their entire lives. It's interesting. I've never had these thoughts before. So those words are important. Those are, they're very, very important to me. Uh, and those are the words I think that will win. Uh, I ran into Karen at the gym, and she said uh, she has this book called uh, Thanking the Monkey. And I said, Spanking the Monkey? She said, No, Thanking the Monkey. Silly. You want to read it? And I said, Sure. So I started reading it. It's wonderful. It's wonderful, and it does. It makes you think, but it, it doesn't make you it doesn't make you feel like a like you're a you're a bad, nasty, terrible person as as many movements want you to do. It just makes you think. You draw your own conclusions. It will change. It will change the way you have your next meal. Your next meal may still be the same, but it will change the way you think about it. It will change the next time you pet your pet. It will change the next time you talk to your vegan daughter. Uh, it's impossible not to be altered in some way after having read this book. Yeah. Yeah. It's a wonderful story. It's true. And what this book has done for me, and I have a feeling for those of you who have just heard that story, it's full of great stories. It's full of tragedy, but it's also full of great stories that will make you, like me, a different person than I was two days ago, think outside the cage. Thank you.